So what you got to notice about this is that it's not the blue version. It's not Office 2007. This is actually Office 2013. I did finally manage to get it installed on this laptop. So, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And one of the things you will notice about this is that it has a file tab. That's because people were protesting when they switched it from Office 2003 and in 2007 there was no file so people missed that so they they brought it back so and the other thing is that it, it looks different I mean I can go into the um, you will see this does look quite different. And there's a dark, there's a white, a light gray, and dark gray. That's the dark gray. So, and something else we were discussing um, this that I couldn't get. Um, there's no, there is no way to right click and put. They should really put autocorrect on the Excel uh, uh, quick access toolbar. And here on the quick access toolbar. We've got popular commands, commands not in the ribbon, all commands. I'm going to all commands. I'm going to press the letter A, which takes you to the first letter in the A's digits. And here we are. I'm going to auto correct options. This is going to give you the dialog box. I'm going to click add. And now I'm going to click OK. So now here it is. So I can have the autocorrect here at any time. <laughs> so I'm glad that they made the, the, that change because you do need it when you're in here. going to press F7. Well, I'm going to put that in here. So I can now put that in here. Tab over. And now I can add that. So now I'm going to press F7. And I will click change. Let's say no. But now you see what I'm talking about. So control home takes us back up to the top. And we'll go with start. Spend total. All right. So we have seven hundred. We receive five hundred. Yeah. We spend eight hundred. And now we press the equal sign. Press the equal sign. And that will keep the that will keep the active cell open. So now B1, which is 700, 
hold down the shift key, press the plus sign, and then B3 is 500. And you notice the colors come up right away, and the ants look small, look wider. They don't look so small. Minus B4, which is the 800. I'm going to press enter. So now we have enter, and we are here in the formula bar, and we can see all the colors for each cell. And now we want to drag this across. Okay, but we need to insert a row and we're going to put in June and July, but we're going to select the thick white cross selects. Now we want to move this, put it towards the edge. And you see when you have it on the edge there, and it doesn't matter as long as you get that four-headed arrow. Now you're good. Now we can control B for bold. And the other thing that we can do here is going to right click and add these to the quick access toolbar so that I have them right here so I don't have to go up here so if I go to another tab I don't have to jump all the way back to the home if I'm here in formulas and I need to center these ta-da so now, this is, our total is 400, but we cannot start May with 700 because we ended April with 400. So what we do is select the cell, press the equal sign, and remember to come back to April, the, the total of April, because that's what we're looking for. Now we have the um, we've got our formula, B7. All right, press enter. So now we can officially start May with the ending of April, which was the $400. Now we can drag this and if you need to see that, control tilde You can see this. So now, control tilde again, and remember, whatever, say we we receive, say we spend uh, nine hundred. Now let's make it an even thousand. Now all of these numbers. these numbers are going to change. So if I put in 1500, all of these numbers change. So now you see what happens when you change the number
you can see what happens. So I will see you in the next video.